Allen Career Institute announces special leader course for JEE main and advanced classes from 15th April. For more detail, log on to allen.ac.in. Question number six is about the dampening. All right. So the formula for dampening of amplitude would be a naught into e raised to power minus t by tau. And if we look at the question, it says at the first time the amplitude becomes 0.9 of the original amplitude in five seconds. In five seconds, the amplitude becomes 0.9. And the question is asking what happens to the amplitude after 10 more seconds. So 10 more seconds would actually mean 15 seconds from the beginning. 5 in the first and 10 more so it becomes 15. So if we replace the value of e raised to power minus 5 tau from the above, we get the amplitude as a naught into 0.9 into 0.9 and into 0.9 that is 0.9 cube so if you solve it the answer will be 0 0.729 a naught which means option number three will be correct question number seven in this question we have got two capacitors capacitor c1 capacitor c2 they are connected such that a negative plate is connected to the other's positive plate and one's positive is connected to the other's negative plate. The charge on the first capacitor will be C1, V1 and the charge on the other capacitor will be C2, V2. When we connect them, the net charge becomes zero. That means these charges must have been equal. So if we put given values of the voltage here, we get answer number two, option number two as our answer. Question number 8. Here they are asking about the fundamental frequency of a sonometer steel wire. So fundamental frequency of wire tied at both ends as we know is C by 2L where C is velocity of wave in the given wire. Now velocity of wave in the wire will be under root T by mu where T is the tension and mu is the mass per unit length. Now to find tension we need strain multiplied by Young's modulus that will give us stress and that multiplied by the cross sectional area will give us tension. And mass per unit length can be found out by the given data of the density multiplied by again the cross sectional area that will give us mass per unit length. If we feed this data in this frequency formula, then we get under root S by A by rho A and we can strike off A here and we have got 1 by 2A. All this data is given in the question that is the strain, the Young's modulus, the density and the length. If you put all these values, the answer that we get is option number Solution to question number 9. This is a question of mutual inductance. We can see there is a very big ring and there is a very small ring. The distance between the two rings is 15 centimeter. And what we need first of all is the mutual inductance of this system, which will be mu naught r1 square into pi r2 square upon 2 into r1 square plus x square power 3 by 2. This will be the mutual inductance of this system. And it is given to us that there is some current flowing in the smaller ring and what is being asked is the flux through the bigger ring. So as we know the formula of flux will be mutual inductance into current. So given this value and given the value of current we can put all these values in the problem and we get our answer is 9.1 into 10 raised to power minus 11 Weber 
which makes our answer as option number 1. Question number 10. Here we are dealing with a scenario where we have a plano convex lens. The diameter of the lens is given to us and the radius is also given to us. Let's say thickness of lens is T, radius of lens is R, diameter of lens is A. So we can see using Pythagoras that if this distance is R minus T, so by applying Pythagoras theorem we can see that it is R square is equal to A square plus R minus T square. When we solve this equation, we get the value of radius as 15 centimeter. The question also tells us the value of refractive index by giving speed of light and if we solve that we get mu as 1.5. Now with this radius and with this refractive index we can put lens makers formula to use and get the required focal length which will be mu minus 1 into 1 by infinity so this would be the focal length of the lens and when we solve it we get option number 3 as our answer 